Fire Fire written by Aditi Ghosh illustrated by George Supreet When Anna moved from her hometown in Goa to Mumbai she was very excited but she was also sorry to leave her uncle her grandmother her friends and most of all Mando Mando was a serious dog who slept peacefully all day. But whenever there was a wedding in the neighborhood, he howled woefully until Anna's uncle stopped playing his violin. Anna loved Mando. She knew he would always protect her from strangers and dangers and from her uncle's noisy violin. Mumbai was a noisy city. Anna missed the sounds of the birds, the church bells and the village music. The only thing she didn't miss was her uncle's violin. Sometimes after school, Anna would go with her father as he delivered letters and parcels. Yay! Anna would wait eagerly for a ride up in the lift. One day, she sneakily pressed all the buttons. The lift opened on every floor. <laughs> every floor had a red speaker box on the wall. Each floor also had a strange looking shower head on the ceiling. Who would want to take a bath here? She wondered. Anna tried to figure things out. The red speaker box never played any music and the shower, not a drop of water ever dripped from it. It did not even have a tap. One afternoon, while Anna and her father were on the fifth floor at Manju Aji's door, they heard the most horrible wailing. Papa, what's that terrible noise? I think that's the fire alarm, Anna. Come, we must get to the fire escape floor immediately. Anna looked at all the people who had rushed to the safety point. Don't worry Anna, it's a very small fire on the second floor. Do you hear that siren? That's the fire engine. It's here to help us. Suddenly, the strange shower began to spray water all around. Oh, and who was that in the corner? Manju Adji's kitten. She was terrified of the fire and the water. The sight of the helpless little kitten made Anna feel brave. She dashed to its rescue. Now that she had gathered some courage, she asked, "How did the shower come on, Papa?" "These are fire sprinklers, Anna. When there is a fire, they turn on automatically," her father said. "But where is the tap, Papa?" she asked again. Anna's father looked at the sprinkler. He wasn't sure. "There is no tap, Anna," said Manju Aji. "That red pipe is always full of water and is plugged tight with a bulb. When there's a fire nearby, the bulb heats up and bursts, so the water comes rushing out." "Ah," said Papa, who had just learned something. Beep, 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 beep. A large white ladder rose up right in front of them. Families with children and the elderly, please! A fireman announced into his horn. As they climbed onto the fire lift, Manju Aji clutched Anna's hand and shut her eyes tight. But Anna kept her eyes wide open. You were a brave girl today, Anna. Her father said proudly. Did the fire alarm scare you? Anna hugged him and nodded. The fire alarm saved us all today, you know. It's a good thing, he said softly. It's a bit like Mando, Papa. Anna whispered back. Her father looked puzzled. The fire alarm is quiet every day. It only makes noise to save us from trouble. Technology helps us in many ways. During a fire, 
the automatic fire systems in schools, cinema halls and other buildings save our lives. Here are some things we should do when we hear a fire alarm. Get up calmly and walk towards the nearest fire exit at a steady pace. Do not take the lift as lifts are usually disabled during a fire. Running will make you inhale more smoke or may cause an accident or stampede. So, do not run, walk fast. If possible, cover your face with a wet towel. Do not throw any water at the fire as this could make the fire spread or cause electrocution. Ask a grown-up to switch off the electrical main switch. Do not touch any electrical appliances or switches. If the exit way is filled with smoke, it is better to crawl or creep out so that you inhale less smoke. Once out of the building, walk towards the nearest fire assembly point or safe open area. Wait in one place until your family member or caretaker has found you. If you're injured, request the nearest grown-up for help.